This boy's mom wants to know why there aren't any lights on these crossing signs, why this crosswalk is so faded, and why there weren't any crossing guards out here this morning. I guess the car hit him so hard that it knocked some of his teeth out. A 12-year-old Grant Sawyer middle school student is in surgery after being hit by a car walking to school Thursday morning. It happened just before 7 on Hacienda between Jones and Lindell. His mom, Lakeisha Robinson, says both of her son's legs are broken. Metro Police says luckily the injuries aren't life-threatening. I try every day to drive them to school, but today was one of the first days that I didn't drive them to school. And this is what happened. Robinson now wants to see something done. There's always people speeding through the school zone. There's never any school police. She says the yellow school crossing signs aren't enough. But they don't blink. They don't do anything. They're just there. And the school sits back a little ways. So if you're driving on that street, Hacienda, you may not even realize it's a school zone. And wants to know why there aren't crossing guards present at every intersection near a school. There's never any crossing guards except for the elementary kids um, at certain times of the morning and certain times in the afternoon. But for the bigger kids, I guess it's just assumed that they'll be okay. I reached out to find out how crossing guards are assigned to schools. I was told in Nevada, individual cities or counties are responsible for crossing guards, not school districts. In this case, it's Clark County. A spokesperson tells me crossing guards don't cover middle school. We should understand that uh, even though these kids are bigger, they're not elementary, they still need help getting across the street because it's not always the pedestrian crossing. A lot of times it's the people in the cars that don't stop. They don't pay attention. They're texting. They're talking. They're in a rush to get to work. Now, I spoke to a crossing guard who was out here for the nearby elementary school. He said although the middle schools don't have crossing guards, he tries to keep an eye on those students as well. We will continue to ask the county why some schools like the middle schools don't have crossing guards. Reporting live, Sophia Paracone, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.